great. It had to be raining. Ugh. So what's going on my YouTube family? I'm on my way to work and today I decided to show y'all what it's like working at the Harley Davidson dealership or what it's like for me <laughs> working at the Harley Davidson dealership. So let's get up here to work and uh, get things started. If this is your first time by the channel, thanks for stopping by. If you enjoy um, content such as motorcycle related content, motorcycle reviews, anything regarding motorcycles, cars, stuff like that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoy this video at the end, go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up for me. That definitely helps out the channel. But let's get things started. I'm actually on my way to work right now. And um, I'm in my car. <laughs> I know y'all wondering like, okay, you work at the Harley dealership. Why are you driving to work? Because it's raining. This wasn't the best day to do this video, but you know, this is the video I had planned for today. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it happen. Um, so we'll be at the dealership here in a few moments. And I'm gonna show y'all basically what goes on throughout my day, as well as um, talk to y'all a little bit about what it's like working at a Harley Davidson dealership. So let's get up here to the dealership. So I'm pulling up to the dealership now. I'm a little bit early. Sometimes I could get in the building, sometimes I can't, but we'll see if anybody's here as of yet. There's Eleanor. All right, let's get inside. Let there be rain and there was rain. Let there be rain and there was rain. Ooh, 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 me. This is my office. So I've just put my stuff away um, in my office. And typically this is when we start moving all the bikes out, but today it's raining. So we're not pulling them all out, but we got Scoot up here pulling the three that were sitting in the showroom out right now with his rusty butcher sweater on let's go say how to scoop he be cranky in the morning see that see what he just gave me <laughs> making a video of a day on what it's like to work inside the harley dealership i thought we were going to be pulling bikes out today but i said we're just pulling these three out because typically typically we pulling out a whole lot but yeah, it's, it's raining about 50. but look at that one that's a that's a cute bike. Cute. Yeah. Wait, let's scratch that. But look at that one. That's a that's a cute bike. <laughs> that was cute. Okay, let's do it one more time. But look at that one. That's that a nice looking bike, and and he can actually make his feet flat on that one. Yeah. Cause, this, this, cause look, this box sits low he got those little cool. legs. That's like, that's his leg length on camera, ah. right there. <laughs> I'll check back with y'all in a second. So now I'm out here on the range. Just got done doing a quick photo shoot. Let me show you the bike we were shooting with real quick. We did some pictures of this deluxe. Um, Cause typically in my day, I do videos of the bikes, pictures for the website and some of the graphic artistic shots too. Show y'all quick sample of what we got. Let me get under over here. It's raining today, so the weather wasn't the best. Uh -oh. Here's a few shots. And if you go follow my Instagram page, you'll see a lot of these pictures on there. And it's the same as my YouTube page, The Infinite Rider. But yeah, let me pack my bag up and move the bike back. In here, we got our Riding Academy classroom, but we're doing a lot of construction up here at the dealership right now. So we got a bunch of our bikes in here. It's typically not this many bikes in here. Usually it's some table set up and just the Riding Academy bikes will be sitting right here um, that the people are gonna use for Riding Academy. But this is some of our pre-owned inventory. And here is my office. And typically when I get to work, 
I check all my emails and everything, um, make sure I don't have um, any students or anything like that I have to contact. I'm basically over to Riding Academy. I also do some of our photography, graphic designs, and a lot of our video editing. As you can see here, I was working on some photos um, from the other day that I ended up doing, just basically editing those. Um, because again, I try to be as creative as possible at work, trying to make as many different type of bike photos and things like that just to keep people engaged and make people fall in love with the harley brand the way i am the rest of my day i spend reaching out to different riding academy students as you can see here this is one of our road books for the riding academy uh making sure they got everything they're going to need for class and to be prepared for it i also interact with a lot of the customers out here as well as everybody in the dealership you know i'm, I'm all about helping out as much as possible so i'm literally all over the place all day mainly messing with Scoot half the day and a few of the salespeople. So let's walk around, take a look at some of the bikes and see if we see any of the employees out here doing something. All right, so we're in the first row of motorcycles here at the dealership. We sometimes have a bike sitting here in front of our step and repeat wall. And this is gonna be like where the smaller Harley Davidson start off at. Typically we have three sporties down here. Um, right now we have one which is the 48 sitting right here. Then you got, we got three heritages right here. The heritage soft tail there, there, and there. Then if you look over here, we have your low rider. We have my office. <laughs> we got the soft tail slim, another soft tail slim. You got a fat boy, you got a deluxe right here, as well as another deluxe right there. You got a sport glide with the fairings and everything on it and the bags. And then we got a sport glide with everything taken off of it. So that way you can see the difference between the two bikes. We have a breakout right here. And we got my favorite bike sitting right here, which is the, the new Lowrider S. We got our Army Soft Tail Slim. And this is the motor clothes department, which they're over here doing some remodeling, um, changing up the way it looks. Dan is always changing it, making it look better and improving it. They're right there. Brainstorming, I'm not gonna interrupt them. <laughs> Okay, we're about to irritate Grumpy. <laughs> you can pick which finger. I would suggest this one. <laughs> All right, so this is the front, like right when you walk in the dealership. And we got a few of the touring bikes. We got a street glide, a road glide, another street glide, another road glide, road glide, road glide, CVO. And you got a few more of your touring bikes down here. Got some more bikes over there. And here, we have a classic. I'm not gonna tell y'all what bike this is. I'll let y'all guess down in the comments and see who can figure out what bike this is. Then we got more bikes and more bikes and uh, more bikes. And we got a couple trikes down here at the end. As you can see, and then we have our parts department. <laughs> That's Tony, he's the parts manager here. And uh, we got plenty of parts for Harley. And we got Miles back here behind the counter. <laughs> yep, it's pretty slow today because of the weather, but typically there's more people in here. All right, so now I'm back in my office working how I typically work, which is in the dark. I keep it dark because a lot of people be shopping and in and out of this main hallway looking at the bikes and I don't want to distract anyone or mess up their experience. Um, I'm about to actually edit some photos I just got done doing here. So while my stuff does its transferring thing, I'll just go over, I mean like what it's like actually working at the dealership. So working at a Harley dealership is basically like being around something you enjoy all day long because you know i'm obsessed with bikes i got a bike addiction or something i got some problems um but when you're around what you like all day you enjoy coming to work 
you like what you do. Like I enjoy doing my photography. That's my passion, motorcycles. And I get to incorporate all that with what I'm doing on a daily basis. So if you actually are into motorcycles and you like motorcycles, then working at a Harley dealership might be the right option for you. All right. So that's it. I was really busy today, so I didn't get to go over everything I wanted to tell y'all about working at the dealership, but I'll tell you on my way home. Buckle up for safety. All right, damn, I need gas. So, basically, whoops. Working at the dealership, for the most part, is a blast. You're around motorcycles all day. You get to ride motorcycles from time to time. Um, I ride them a little bit more than the average person because I do reviews of them as well as all the photographs of the bikes. You get to help other people who are thinking about riding or want to ride get out there on a bike. I mean, that's the biggest thing I love about working at the dealership. You can get other people to ride and once they start riding, they get that addiction that all of us riders got, where we in there constantly buying parts, upgrading, looking at other motorcycles, riding nonstop. You know, you know that feeling you get when you first start riding. I mean, working at a dealership got ups and downs to it. The downside, the biggest downside I say, is you put in a shitload of hours. Like, I basically live there. I'm there quite a bit. Um, so depending on what your position is at the dealership, you know, you're going to put in a lot of hours, but if you enjoy what you're doing and you actually like motorcycles and like being around motorcycles and being around other like-minded individuals, then it don't really feel like work work. I mean, there is those occasions where it does feel like work when you break a sweat from pushing a bike because somebody left the ignition on and you stuck pushing the bike a 900 pound motorcycle then yeah you're gonna sweat a little bit and it's gonna feel like work and your, and your glutes and your leg and your, and your back and all that other stuff gonna be a little bit sore later on that day but for the most part you have fun at the dealership you know so if you're thinking about going to work for a motorcycle dealership but you can't make up your mind i mean because i was i was in that dilemma a little while back too and i decided to go ahead and take a leap of faith and I think I made the right choice. I can't see myself working nowhere else. Like I literally gotta be around motorcycles forever or some type of power sport, either motorcycles or, or muscle car or something. I cannot see myself going back into working at a bank ever. But yeah, that's, that's my thoughts and a little bit of my day. I didn't get to film a whole bunch of my day because we actually ended up doing a lot of stuff today. But if you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, give it a thumbs up. That helps the channel greatly. People do not realize how much giving a video a thumbs up helps out the channel. But it's your boy Infinite Rider signing out. Y'all stay safe, be blessed, and get out there on two wheels, people. Deuces. Love y'all.